Hi, you guys. How are you? My name's Emmanuel King. I'm one of the head coaches here at the Talent Agency Guide, and I've been asked to give an update on the news that's happening with the SAG after strike. So as many of you probably heard, George Clooney and other stars who are among the top earners in Hollywood have made a groundbreaking proposal to end the actor strike, which has dragged on for nearly a hundred days. And Clooney, along with Ben Affleck, Emma Stone, Scarlett Johansson, and Tyler Perry met with SAG-AFTRA and suggested eliminating a $1 million cap on union membership dues so that the highest earners in the business can contribute more. Uh, Clooney said, a lot of the top earners want to be a part of the solution and that they offer to remove the cap of dues, which would bring over 50 million to union annually and well over 150 million over the next three years. He thinks it's fair for the highest earners to pay more into the union. So the funds would go towards providing health benefits for members. The stars also propose reformulating how actors earn streaming residuals. The offer would prioritize paying the lowest earners first. And of course, the lovely Fran Drescher, who is the sag after president, she responded to George Clooney and the other A-listers openly and directly on social media. Uh, you can actually watch the post before this one, which is her actual full response. Uh, but in short, what she said is that it's a nice offer, but it wouldn't change anything. And that this is the time for the union to stay strong and allow their negotiating and legal teams to handle the situation in regards to numbers. She called the offer generous, but warned that it does not impact the contract that SAG-AFTRA is striking for whatsoever. And that SAG-AFTRA is a federally regulated labor union and the only contributions that can go into their pension and health plans must be from the employers. So what SAG-AFTRA is fighting for in terms of benefits has to remain in this contract. In other news, and don't get mad at the messenger, but SAG-AFTRA is asking its members to stick to the basics this Halloween to respect the strike by not dressing up as popular characters from struck content such as Barbie, Marvel superheroes, or Wednesday Addams. And if you do, at least don't post it on social media. A sag after's leadership's message is, let's use our collective power to send a loud and clear message to our struct employers that we will not promote their content without a fair contract. <laughs> uh, once again, hey, do what you got to do, but these are the words from sag after. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And if you're out there and you're looking for online a school that can help you with audition technique. Send us a message with your name, number, and email. And to next time, we will be coming back with more content for you so that you can grow in your craft and your wisdom in the industry. And yes, we have been posting a lot of paparazzi stuff lately, but just to be completely honest with you, we want everyone who is following us to have the full scope of what this industry is. It can be a beautiful business, especially if you're a professional working actor doing what you love to actually make money. Um, but there is a dark side to it as well. And you should understand both of those so that you can make a wise decision with your future. All right, you guys have an amazing day.